Okay, the show is um, is about a married couple. I play the the man in that married couple relationship, um, who are kind of they've been married for a little bit and they're in, in a bit of a rut. And um, uh, my character Jack hires an escort. He thinks actually to <laughs> to kind of save the marriage. Very convoluted thinking. Um, but he immediately confesses to his wife, and it turns out she has a uh, somewhat sordid lesbian past and meets up with the escort herself and then the three of them embark on a uh, three-way relationship. A th relationship. <laughs> oh, that's a good uh, question. Um, well, obviously the, you know, the romantic scenes with the three of us were just, uh, it, was, it was interesting for me just in terms of spatially. You don't really think of, of the dynamics of a three-person relationship. Just, there's always kind of going to be one person that is left out. And when we were shooting those um, sex scenes, um, it was just interesting to see that there was, always, you know, there was tough to find a place to where, like, where I'm supposed to be. And you realize that there's a, a very real practical <laughs> problem <laughs> with these three-person relationships. I, I say that you will feel left out at times. You will feel some shame. That's perfectly normal. Just let it play out. You'll get your turn. <laughs> That's my advice, based on my threesome experience. Yeah. Uh, well, I, it was interesting. I, I kind of tapped into a um, very emotional part of me through uh, Nisha Shiganatra, who was the, uh, our wonderful director who directed all 10 episodes, um, really had us go through some stuff during rehearsals to try to really connect with our emotions in general, not just for the, with the character. So uh, I cried quite a bit, I'd say. Um, a lot of actors can cry on cue, but I was crying, I can cry off cue, even when it's not required. So there were some scenes where I could l literally hear people, you know, the, the producers in the background saying, why is he crying, right? <laughs> He's not supposed to be crying. <laughs> um, so that was kind of cool, actually. I feel like that would be my advice to actors. If you ever want to just throw some emotion into a scene, randomly cry <laughs> when, it's, when it's not required. I do not get embarrassed, um, luckily. If I did, I mean, I couldn't have done this role. I mean, there's, there's something about standing around, you know, fairly naked, if not totally naked, in front of a group of 50. Um, that kind of requires that you not be so modest. No, for me, it's not so much the, the you know, shooting the sex scenes that's embarrassing. It's more when you get the f first cut and you realize they've cut out all of your nude scenes. Uh, that's more embarrassing. That's, that's much worse than actually shooting them. When people see the scenes and then say, you know what, nobody needs to see that. We can't even, <laughs> we can't even CGI that. <laughs> it's a lost cause. So uh, yeah, it's not, I don't think there's, there's enough. There's just, just enough, I think, of, of those type of scenes in the show. Yeah, I was a lawyer for 12 years um, in both New York and Sweden. And then I moved to Sweden with my wife, who's Swedish. And about four years ago, I s sat up in my attic and wrote the script to Welcome to Sweden, which um, eventually got bought by NBC and, and was sent around the world. And, you know, when I was writing that script, there was definitely a, a voice in my head that was, you know, telling me, this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, a very lo loud, doubting voice that was telling me, you know, that this was pathetic and that there's millions of people that think they can act or think they can write. And so, you know, please stop. Um, and there was another more positive voice <laughs> also in my head saying, you know, you can do it, man. Just, um, just, uh, someone's just got to give you a shot. And so luckily there have been people who have given me a shot and I'm eternally grateful for that. I think the moral of the story is to, you know, tell that doubting voice in your head to shut the hell up.